Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to your faces back to another Stormworks build and rescue video. Today I was going to continue on with our little seaplane, but I'm getting a little bit frustrated the fact that it won't take off. Anyway, we're going to move back on to this thing and uh, we're actually going to put a fire suppression system in this back end. Essentially, if these engines set on fire, we've got nothing except fire extinguishers to actually put it out. So, we're going to have to put in some sort of fire suppression sprinkler system. Uh, that is going to go overhead and put out the fires. So essentially, we'll have some pumps, we'll have some hoses, and we'll essentially be able to put out the fires by pressing a button, and they'll get put out. So, yeah, I guess, let's go ahead and um, sort that out. <laughs> Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and go inside and see if you guys can actually see anything. I know sometimes it's too dark inside of these places uh, for you guys, so I'm going to check my settings and we'll see if I can make it a little bit better for you. Okay, no, never mind. Anyway, uh, we're going to leave it as it is. That's okay. So we'll need uh, something like two pumps uh, on each side or like four pumps on each side so that we can actually put out this uh, fire if this one sets on fire. This one, this one. Actually, yeah, we need eight pumps all together. And that is fine. That is okay. Where's our water level? So if we put the pumps literally just in the side, that'll be okay. And yeah, so let's build ourselves a little thing back here. And we'll have a row of pumps. And then we'll figure it out from there, maybe? Actually, where does this go? Okay, actually. Yeah, can we put out this fire? How do I... Where do I have to aim it at in order to actually put it out, if that makes sense? Because I'm thinking... If we have it come straight down from above, that would be amazing. But at the same time, I don't really know. So, let's put this here for now. On both sides. Yeah, on both sides. Good. Actually, um, that's fine. Yeah. Grab this. We'll put it right here. We'll have a nozzle, if that's what it's called. Yes, it is. And we'll put that on the end of there. That's awesome. And we'll figure out the rest of it from, from there. So, drag this backwards, obviously. There we go. Delete this. Delete this. Have it go sideways out of here. Have it go backwards out of there. And then we want it to come straight backwards from there. So grab this. We'll have it come backwards. And we'll figure this out. All right. So we'll actually grab a pump real quickly. There we go. Very good. Uh, this pump, it doesn't really have to be a big one to be fair. It really doesn't. It doesn't actually need to be a big one at all. Uh, but essentially, that's going to go there like this. We're going to delete this piece. We're going to go ahead and grab some pipes to make sure that it actually fits in here like that. There we go. Very good. We'll have it fit here too, like this. And then this just needs to pump into the floor. And that's essentially all we need to do. So have this come straight down out the bottom. All right. Grab ourselves some fluid pots. And that's going to be okay. So one right there. Oh, sorry. Nope. Probably have it in a bit. That's okay. Right there, but like the right way around would be great. There we go, that'll do. And put that piece right there. Alright, good. Attach those together using pipes. And we should be fine, I think. Drag this all the way down. Oh, that didn't work. That didn't work. There we go. Alright, good. So that's one of the pumps in. We obviously need more pumps than that, though. So uh, let's get working on the other ones. Essentially, if we just put a pump on the side, we should be able to just fire it straight into the side. So grab a pump. Here we go. Grab a pump. I was thinking, realistically, we should aim it so it fires downwards. But I suppose that doesn't really matter. That doesn't really matter. We just need it to, to fire. So that's good. All right, cool. Grab one of these. Can I fit it straight on the side? Is that a thing? Oh, it's not actually a thing. Oh, that sucks. That sucks a lot because I'm going to have to, like, bend it sideways and stuff. Oh, that's annoying, actually. That's pretty annoying. Oh, that's annoying, too. Oh, God, that's really annoying. Okay, go backwards to about here. Or here. Or where is it? Here. Here instead. There we go. All right, fluid. We're going to put them in anyway because it's going to work. There we go. Right there, very good. Right there, very good as well. We're obviously going to do this. And we're going to fill this one in as well like this. And to be honest, the side of ships aren't really that, like, smooth anyway. So I guess doing this isn't even that bad. There we go. Good. Okay, so now we actually just need to mess with the pipes. So essentially, this needs to go sideways. All right, backwards. All right, okay, upwards. No, actually, go backwards again. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've got an idea. Right, pipe. 
Yep, go backwards. Okay, now go upwards from back here. Then go forwards. And then use one of those, one of these pieces, to attach it onto here. And that should fire straight into the engine, putting out a fire. Alright, that makes sense. Do exactly the same thing for the other ones. And we'll be good. Alright, cool. Sideways. Backwards. Grab this thing. Backwards. Yes. Grab this thing. Go upwards. Forwards. And grab this and put it there. Alright, so that should put out that fire as well, if there is one. Which is perfect. Now, all we need to do is sort out one for this, and that'll be it. We'll be good. Alright, so in order to actually do this last one then, I'm thinking we use a pump from the same place. Alright, we put it right next to it, like this. Is this out? And this is... Yeah, this is out. Alright, very good. We're gonna delete this. We're gonna make this color actually go like that. There we go, good. We're gonna have this go down. Same way we did with this one. Put that there. Grab this piece. Put it on there as well. And figure this out. So... It's going to get have to go upwards. Up. Alright, then up, up. And then forwards. Oh, sorry, inwards. Drag it sideways. Okay, yeah, I guess. I guess that's fine. And then we have to have it go, like, down. But, like, I'm thinking, literally, if we do this. And then I put one of those on there. That'll actually put out the fire, but I don't know. Realistically, I, I, I actually don't know. Uh, so, yeah. I think that'll put out the fire. Good. Alright, makes sense. Okay, so let's say that we do actually have an engine fire. Where does the button go? Where does the button go? What is this? Like, what is this for? Heaters. Yeah, I guess that works. Uh, on this side, we've just got a dial. We're not gonna need that. Oh, God. No. I deleted it on both sides. Just delete this one. This is gonna be for fire. Engine. Fire. Is that how you spell it? No idea. Alright, cool. We're gonna go with that. Cool. Come on. Oh god, there's a lot of logic. There is a lot of logic. We need one. One, two, three. Sorry, three, and... Where's the fourth? Four? One, two, three, and four. Alright, very good. And then we need all of these to be attached to together. Oh god. Yeah, attach them together. Okay, very nice. Attach them to the engine. That's good. We want this attached to. And this attached as well. Oh. No, have I only done it on one side? Oh, God. Okay, right. This needs to be done again then. Alright, so. Grab this piece. It's going to come outwards. It's going to go sideways. Alright, it's going to then come sideways again like this. This is then going to come forwards a bit. Alright, to about there. We're going to grab this, and we're going to put it here, and I think that's fine. Alright, cool, good. Uh, logic. This needs it. Uh, these two both need power as well. There we go, very nice. These things need power. That needs to go to there. This needs to go up to here, and then these two need attaching as well. Alright, very nice. So, realistically, these are all attached, and should, in theory, work. Yeah, I think so. Alright, cool. So, let's go back up to the top. Press this button so that it's on automatic, automatically. Automatically. Good. This thing actually needs power as well. There we go. Spawn it in. See what happens. All right. Okay. What is actually going on down here then? Is there anything actually even firing? Nothing's firing. Literally nothing is going on here. Nothing at all. What? Why? Why is nothing happening? Team? Hello? They should be firing, I think. Right? Surely, why aren't you doing anything? Why are you not doing anything? This is weird. Okay, so I don't really know why that's not working. But essentially, let's just go ahead and put another button in down here somewhere. And we'll see if this allows us to do fire suppression anyway, I guess? Yeah, so delete this. We'll put it there. This is going to do exactly the same job. So we'll just attach it to there. And we'll attach this up to that button. I guess. Yeah, up to here. This one down to there, maybe? Does this one go to that button? I'm not sure if this is how this works. Sure. Alright, okay, have that like that. Go back up to this one and turn it off. Alright, spawn it in, see what happens. Hello, I'm here to test the fire suppression systems. 
Yeah, they work. All right, so they're firing onto that one. That one's firing backwards. That one's firing forwards. All of these engines, if they do catch fire, should be put out pretty quickly, which is awesome. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. We got fire suppression system going on. Awesome. Right, I want the lights on down here too. Can I turn the lights on? Hold on. Boop. Lights. Heaters. There we go. Do we have heating all the way through? I think we do. I'm pretty sure we do. Yeah, we got heating all the way through to the back. Turn that on again. Yeah, this totally works. That totally works. Awesome. We got a fire suppression system. Cool. Well, anyway, uh, I think I'm going to end this video here for now. I wanted to say thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed whatever this was. Fire suppression adding video. Um, yeah. Look at this. We've also still got this thing. However, I don't know if that's actually going to work. But anyway, we can close it back up and everything. And it'll drain. But um, yeah, that's pretty awesome. Anyway, I wanted to say thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I think this will be in the workshop very soon. If not, after this video. And um, you guys can check it out for yourselves. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Goodbye. I'm going to try and explode the engines, actually, before we finish. I'm going to try and blow this thing up. And then see if the fire suppression actually works. I can't get it to explode. What is going on? Right, okay, hold on. Jump down here. There we go. Are they actually going to explode? Where's the temperature? 69. It's not even going to explode. They're not going to. That's crazy. I mean, they should. They should totally explode. But they've all got cooling that actually works, which is crazy. Anyway, um, if they do ever catch fire... We do have the ability to actually put them out. Does that change its temperature? I don't think it does. No. Anyway, um, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed whatever the heck this was. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.